Hi everyone, I'm Argolfomp. I'm playing the newest Living Legends game. It's called The Red Trace. It was released in March 2024. Here's the opening scene. Whoosh! This game made by Friendly Fox. Are you sure this is the right way, Sam? I think we're lost. Master Frodo, will you stop whining for like five minutes? Sam? Where are you? Sam? What's that sound? Oh. And uh, that is not a friendly fox. That is an angry evil wolf. Ooh. Alrighty. Ooh, this looks fancy. So, um, this is Ruby. She's getting ready for her marriage. Uh, yeah, it's a wedding-themed game. But she might be under an evil curse. I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's get started with the adventure. I'm honored to have you as my son-in-law, Roland. You'll be a great husband to Ruby. Oh, before I forget, Here's a letter from her. A letter from Ruby. Always a romantic. I still can't believe this wedding is happening. How did I get so lucky? I remember the first time I saw Ruby. She was sitting on a swing in the garden. A light breeze in her hair and a gentle smile on her lips. My heart fluttered when she looked at me. And in an instant, I was head over heels in love. Proposing took all of the courage I could muster, but it was worth it to hear her say yes. As a symbol of her love, Ruby gave me a part of her mother's amulet. I'll always cherish it because I know what it means to her. We finally arrived. I can't wait to see her. New objective. Read the letter. I can't read the letter. The objective text is in the way. <laughs> My dear Roland, I'm immensely happy to become your wife, and I cannot wait to see you. Before we meet at the altar, I want to give you half of this amulet as a token of my boundless love. And you know, just in case something really, really terrible happens before the wedding. Ruby. Oh, Ruby's incredibly beautiful. It's hard to believe that she'll become my wife soon. Hurry up, Roland. Ruby must be anxious to see you. Roland! I'm so glad you're finally here! Aw, Ruby, it's great to see you! Let's get a tutorial. Sure, let's get a tutorial. So, uh, if I move my mouse over somebody, I can talk to them! Let's do that by talking to Ruby, my love. I'm sorry, darling. But many of our guests haven't arrived. There's talk of a giant wolf in the area, but I'm sure it's just a rumor. I don't want it to get in the way of our wedding. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's real. I, I, I saw it attack some guy in the opening cutscene. Don't worry, dear. Nothing will get in the way on such an important day. If you're sure it's just a rumor, then the wedding will go on as planned. Thank you, Dad. I'm sure it will be fine. Darling, please hold on to this for now. I need to put the finishing touch on a few things for the ceremony. I'll take my father inside and come back. Okay. Sounds good. I'll, I'll... I can pick up this item by clicking on it. It gets added to my inventory at the bottom of the screen. And I'll just hang out here. Wait the... Whoa! Okay, so that's not good. That's definitely not what was good. That? I hope Ruby and Paul are okay. I hope the candy bar is okay, too. I would be terrible if the candy bar w was hurt. Okay, so let's take a look at the thing that Ruby gave us. Just click on the item at the bottom of the screen. And sparkles indicate you can interact with something. So what's inside the box she gave me? Some ribbon. It looks like a book. I hope the rumors about the wolf and the magical red ivy... Oh, those aren't just rumors. I think they're true. So we want to click on the red items here, which are uh, the wolf, the ivy, 
and then the mirror it says you get rid of the curse by using the ivy you grind its leaves into powder and then you put it on a mirror all right and we are actually going to take that uh, this piece of paper which has those instructions on it and mm, that is a delicious looking food oh yeah oh and we have some mirrors oh great and some scissors cool so uh let's let's start magnifying glass indicates we can zoom in on an area so here we're gonna grab the scissors and use it to cut the ivy because we need to grind the ivy into powder to get rid of it and also i'm gonna grab that watering can there as well okay if you're ever stuck click on the hint button it will tell you what to do next so that's what the hint looks like. The hint says, hey, we want to get into the chapel and look at this thing. Oh, that's the map. By the way, uh, we have a map in this game. Uh, looks like there are six areas we can visit here on the edge of the forest. Why are we having a wedding at the edge of the forest? Hmm, maybe we should have the wedding in town. Anyway, here's a letter. Uh, my dear cousin Ruby, I'm sorry I won't attend your wedding. I hope uh, uh, things go well for you. I, I, I don't think there's really a, 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 a wolf, right? Hey, <laughs> your cousin. Hmm, I don't know if her cousin's a scaredy cat or if there's more to the wolf rumor than we realize. We'll use the scissors here to grab that thing. It's shiny. It's shiny. And you know what likes shiny things? Uh, this crow right here, but I can't click on it because the tutorial says we have magic flowers We have magic flowers every single screen has two magic flowers. Oh and morphing objects uh, Two morphing objects as well. So you'll want to find all the uh, magic flowers and all the morphing objects. There we go uh, I don't think you have to find them. It's it's just a cool thing that you can do so it looks like when we find all of the, the flowers, we can unlock these flowers here. Okay. Back to the game. We take a look at this crow. Uh, it flies off. I'm going to grab... Oh, it's a magpie, not a crow. I'm going to grab these two items here. I'm going to take a look at the uh, magpie, which is right over here. I'm going to offer it this crystal in exchange for the thing in its beak. And I'm going to fill the watering can with water from the fountain. Excellent. I'm going to use that cupcake to open up the candy bar. Oh, man. I have never been to a wedding with a candy bar, but it sounds nice. Oh, man. Yeah. Candy everywhere. So, news. Redwood news. Our town has been overtaken by wonderful news. The wedding of Roland Morier. Oh, that's my name. Morier. Uh, Ruby DeLily will take place this weekend. And we look like a happy couple. This is a hidden objects challenge. We need to find everything written at the bottom of the screen. So that's, uh, that was a meringue. Okay, orange items are special. Let's find the, all these items first. Okay, we have uh, a donut. Uh, we have a chocolate box. We have a raspberry, we have the cake server, the tongs. Uh, in order to get a caramel apple, we're going to take a spike here. We're going to put it through the apple. We're going to dump it in the caramel and then dump it in the sprinkles. That's a caramel apple. And you see, we, we have to do a bunch of steps for that. Similarly uh, with the cake, we have to put this on the cake and then this on the cake. We're trying to match that cake there. And this on that cake. And now we have a pair of cakes. All right, so uh, yellow rose, spoon, napkin. Oh, and the candy jar, it needs to be filled with candies. So we need to find uh, several candies throughout the screen. Three candies, and then we put on the lid. We're done. Candy jar is finished. Okay, so we got a cake server, and I, I think we've got a bunch of stuff in our inventory. We could probably solve the puzzle of getting inside the chapel right now. So let's see, this dirty bowl, we need the water. It says we need a watering can and a rag. We have both of them. So we'll use those items on the bowl, and now it's a nice clean bowl. Actually, wait a minute. I thought we have something else to do here. Yeah, we're, we're going to use the cake server here to dig. gonna give me a little owl and I'm actually going to be using the owl to smash up uh, the ivy so the owl the ivy 
and the bowl. All three of those things go together. And I have smashed up Ivy. I've put the Ivy on the mirrors. That will get rid of the Ivy, letting us go inside the church and save our beloved Ruby. If she's in danger, which I'm pretty sure she is. Oh, and this is a puzzle. Uh, when the skip button charges, we can skip the puzzle. But I'm not going to skip this puzzle. Oh, you can do it extra hard or casual. Okay, so hard or casual. It, I mean, casual, the pieces are basically in place. Let's do it on hard mode. Uh, so you click on this, this circular thing to rotate a piece. And I will rotate these pieces so they're in place. Next, we need to make sure they're the right size by using... Uh, we have to use these left-right sliders, but also the right size as well. So this is the right size, and that's the right location. So it looks like with this one, um, maybe not the right size. Yeah, that looks like the correct size. Get it in the correct location. Mm, can't tell so much with this one. Oh, wait, yeah, that's too big, so I'll, I'll change the size. Looks like for all of them, you're going for medium size instead of maximum size. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's the trick to solving the puzzle. And now we can go inside. Really, I... Whoa, what? All the people are inside like they don't notice anything's wrong? I'm glad everyone is okay. I should tell Paul and Ruby about the strange red ivy on the doors. No, no! No! Ruby! Run! Stop! I won't let you take her! You're not going anywhere, you vile creature. No! Ruby! Paul! What? Is that... Paul? Did the wolf do this? Very this dramatic. This is terrible. The wolf kidnapped Ruby and somehow turned Paul into a boar. I must save them. So this is dramatic and also it looked super fun. Like she got to ride on the back of the wolf. That was cool. It looked like she was having fun. Uh, but still, uh, what happened to all the wedding guests? I don't know. Uh, that was a morphing object. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to look over here. I need to grab a, a strip of that, and I need tweezers before I can grab that from the ground. Uh, it is a broken fan, so I'm going to use that ribbon to fix the fan. What am I going to clean with the fan? I don't know. I'll grab oh, Ruby's amulet, the second half of her amulet. Well, I'll grab that. Uh, it's kind of broken. I need to put... Okay, I put this half into the amulet. And now it's complete. But what's this? Thank you for restoring me. I am Thalia, the spirit of the amulet. I once served Ruby's mother, Marion, until she passed me on. I sense that Ruby is in danger, but fear not. I will help you. Oh, that's nice. I can help break the curse of dark magic. Bring me something meaningful to the victim, and I can imbue it with power. We'll be doing this multiple times throughout the game, so we need to find something valuable to Paul. That way, uh, Paul will stop being a, a wild animal, basically. So let's find something valuable to Paul inside this area. So let's see, that's high up, but I just got a wedding decoration so I can grab it. Falls down there, alrighty. And let's see, we've got more of that evil, the, the evil magic, right? Those evil magic vines. Really should have uh, kept those mirrors instead of leaving them out the front door, right? Because that would have gotten rid of the ivy. Really, I think our main character should just keep the mirror on him at all times. That would save so much hassle. Just. So much hassle. Okay, so this is a puzzle where we want to uh, move things around. There we go. That's perfect. So what's what's the uh, left half side of this thing? Uh, looks like this might match. There we go. And then what's the left half side of this? The left hand side and the right hand side of these things are always the same, by the way. That's that's how this puzzle works. 
And if you want, you can get, like, a full match. Like, I can get this entire bottom row to match. Whoa! And I can get the entire top row to match as well. There's no point in doing so. It, it doesn't affect anything, but it is kind of cool. Oh, there you go. I, I made perfect matches for all three rows. Cool. <laughs> hey, hey, I did it. All right. So, um, this gives me the from tweezers. Marian. It looks like a gift from Ruby's mother. It could be important to Paul. Yeah, but it's broken. It's it's a broken compass. Okay, so we're going to break the curse on Paul. I, I am going to use the tweezers to get part of the compass, right? I think that's half of it. And I think I just missed this piece of paper. Ruby, my sweet granddaughter. You know I haven't been feeling well lately, so I'm sorry I won't be able to come to the wedding. However, I couldn't leave my little one without a gift. Congratulations! <laughs> I wish you immense happiness. I hope you have the opportunity to congratulate. I, I mean, I want to meet you in person. Aww, they look so happy. Aww. And, and seriously, Roland has never met his bride's grandmother before, even though she lives, like, next door? A a and wow. <laughs> that That's kind of crazy. Okay, so uh, we're going to use the upholstery here to grab this. Now I have a mirror shard. Uh, it's a dagger, basically. I can use the dagger to cut stuff. Hmm, what am I going to have to cut? Uh, maybe this? Glass fragments everywhere. I'll use the fan to get rid of the glass fragments. Use the shard to cut this. Oh, no, I could just open it normally. Ruby, even though you've grown up, you'll always be my little girl who loved fairy tales. So here's a fairy tale from your dad, Paul. Haha. <laughs> Red Riding Hood. Yep. Hopefully there aren't any evil monsters in the world attacking you. Ha ha ha. Oh, Dad, why couldn't you have gotten her a much nicer story? One without evil monsters. Oh, and that's the second compass decoration. So we put the two pieces of the compass together, and we can use it on the amulet. There you go. Amulet plus compass. I loved Marion. She was a kind and gracious host. I wish I could have done more for her, but now I can focus on helping Ruby. But first, you should learn the truth about their family. Not long after Paul returned from the war, he met Marion and instantly fell in love. Marion's family approved of Paul and supported Marion when she didn't hesitate to tell him yes. But Paul felt his love for Marion wasn't fully returned, as she seemed cold and sad. However, the arrival of little Ruby warmed her heart, making room for Paul as well. Marion's sudden death devastated Paul, and caring for little Ruby became his sole focus, shaping his entire life around his daughter. <laughs> That's really sad. I've used up all my magic on the enchantment. I must rest before I continue the story. Come back when you need me again, and perhaps I will have recovered. <laughs> That's exactly what's going to happen. Uh, next time we need to change somebody from an animal into a human, we, we'll, we'll do the same thing and we'll hear a little bit more of the story. All right, so Ruby's mother, Marion, died when she was young. This is very sad, and I will use the amulet. Hold on a second. Uh, I, I need to zoom in on Paul. And now I use the amulet on Paul? No. I'm going to use the magic compass. Zoom in on Paul, use the magic compass. Okay, I use the shard to cut him free. And then I use the magic compass? That's it. That's the order. <laughs> Sorry I got tripped up on that. So this is a puzzle. What you need to do is make matches of three. If you make a match of three next to something with ivy, the ivy goes away. What we are trying to do in this particular instance is drop this uh, thing all the way down to the bottom of the screen. The four tile. Let's see. What if I make a match here? And then a match here. Yeah, and then a match here. You can't make matches of four, it's just three or more. And now the board goes down to the bottom of the screen. Paul is back to normal. You saved me. Thank you. I don't know where the wolf took Ruby, 
but we should head to our grandmother's house. Yeah, we just got a not uh we got a note from grandmother. Marion had a brother, but he disappeared. Their mother said something about it having to do with a wolf. They never spoke about it after that. But maybe she'll open up about her past if it means finding Ruby. Hmm. Alrighty. So he had a mysterious brother-in-law connected to a wolf? Are you saying your brother-in-law used his pet wolf to kidnap his niece? Because that's strange. We're no match for that wolf. I'll go get help, and then we can meet at Ruby's grandma's. But first, we need to raise the pillar. There should be a long piece of cloth around here somewhere. Can you find it? Well, I mean, it's right there. It's right next to you. How did you... Oh, oh, wait. Uh, apparently, I found this uh, suitable piece of cloth. Now that we uh, have lifted the curse, the ivy's not here, so I can grab the cloth and the rope. And I'll use it on We should be able here. to move this column, Paul. I'll find help. We'll meet again at Ruby's grandma's. Sounds good. All right, so he'll go off to get help, and I'll I'll go off to grandma's house. <laughs> 